welcome to a &E TV. Today we're joined for Morning Coffee by Basma Abuguzela, founder and creative director of CAGE. Good morning, Basma. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Thank you for joining us. Thanks. Now, to get things kicked off, talk us through your morning routine. My morning routine is, routine is relatively simple. I get my coffee here in the morning mm -hmm. and I go through all of my emails and then a uh, quick shower. Um, I have a quick face routine that I normally do and then I'm off to D3. Uh, to the cage studio. Um, I only have breakfast if I'm hungry. Okay. And of course, you are a designer. So what's your first fashion memory? Um, it's a funny fashion memory. I was under the age of 10 and I created uh, clothes, dresses and headbands that were made out of garbage. I mean, <laughs> clean garbage bags, obviously. I dressed up in them and then I forced my younger cousin to dress up and take pictures with me. So oh. <laughs> that's just a, like a fashion memory that sticks out. Okay, and obviously Cage has been around for a few years now. How do you think the brand has evolved and what can we expect to see from the future? I think, I mean, with time, the collections and the designs have actually just become aesthetically more mature. Mm -hmm. um, but that being said, we always make sure that we stick to the brand's DNA because that's super important for us. Um, two years ago, we launched a Cage website um, for like more international reach. So I think that was a big milestone for us. Mm -hmm. And then just a little secret we're doing um, for autumn, winter and 19, which is a collection we're launching now, we're introducing a little accessory line. Yeah. Can so you tell us any more? Uh, you have to keep <laughs> posted with that one. Okay. And what do you think about the fashion scene in the Middle East? I think for people that are starting out in the fashion industry today, they're actually really lucky to be part of it. And it's a really exciting time to be part of the fashion mm -hmm. industry in the Middle East today. You've got so many different initiatives and hubs and, and fashion prizes that are going on that help um, that help giving old brands basically exposure. So you have Fashion Forward that was an amazing platform mm -hmm. that um, gave so many um, brands exposure that they wouldn't have normally. Um, Des Dubai Design District, where Cage Studio mm -hmm. is, it's an amazing creative hub for all of the young designers and young talents to kind of be super inspiring. And then you have um, initiatives such as the Vogue Fashion Prizes and all these different ones that, that help bring out all the talent. So I think it's a really exciting time in the region to be part of the fashion. And is there any advice you'd give to anyone that's trying to set up their own brand? I always say that it's, it's definitely, it, can't, it shouldn't be a hobby. It's, it's a business at the end of the day. And because it's such a competitive industry, you need to find a gap in the market and um, kind of be innovative and always just be passionate and, and be patient and, and believe in yourself and you, and you will get there. Okay. And what's been the biggest challenge for you? I think just international kind of expansion and brand recognition, more of that mm -hmm. is always probably most difficult. So what would you consider your biggest career success to date? I think that the fact we're still ongoing and we're approaching our 10 year anniversary, mm -hmm. that's something that we're really super proud of. Okay. And what do you still want to achieve? even more international, uh, international, uh, more international reach and, mm -hmm. and brand recognition. Okay. And who has influenced you the most throughout your career? To be honest, there isn't one particular person mm -hmm. that has influenced me in my career, but I would say that my, my father has definitely uh, been quite influential in the way that I run my business. Okay. But mostly I would say successful, inspiring stories that I hear mm -hmm. or read about or see influence me. Is there a professional motto that you live by? Work-life balance. Okay. And what about if you were to give your younger self one piece of advice, what would that be? Um, be patient and live the moment. Okay. Now this is quite a big one for you as a designer. How would you describe your personal style in one word? I would like to say effortless. Okay. And what do you say no to? Sugar when I'm dieting. And are you reading a book at the moment? No, I'm not. Uh, sad to say that I don't read much. Okay. And for your last question, how would you like the world to remember you? Um, I've said this before, and I would have liked people to remember me by saying that she was someone that was so passionate about what she was doing, and she dared to dream big. Okay, perfect. Basma, thank you so much for joining us. Thank today. you so much for having me. Thank you. Thanks. thanks.